Hey everybody. Need to figure out how to share this on Facebook so I can get more viewers. Just a sec. Okay, I shared it on Facebook. So, I feel like that needs to be up farther, so bear with me for a second. I'm in my second office. I have two offices. There, that's a little bit better. And I can turn this on. Okay, so today I went to Goodwill and I spent 50 some dollars. I think it was like $59. And, um, no. Ooh. Anyways, I don't think I, I do need that. Okay, so I got, um, I don't have any viewers, thank God, because I'm, that's better. That's good. Okay, that's my backdrop. It's all tied up there. Okay, so I got 43 pounds and I think I spent like $59. It was a buck 29 a pound. And um, yeah, and I'll show you some things that I got the other day too. So la on Friday, I went to lunch with my cousin and then I went to the um, retails, um, thrift store, which is like the Humane Society thrift store. And I got these boots. They are Patricia Nash and you can see the bottoms are like, they look like tooled leather. And I got these for $12.99 and I should be able to get between 75 and 100 on Poshmark and they're just in beautiful shape. They're suede. The tops are really floppy. Um, one of my little tricks when I'm photographing stuff like this is I put, I roll up a magazine and put them in there to keep the tops of the boots straight so they look nice for photographing. So I got that and then um, the other day when my family was in town, we went thrift shopping and I went to Salvation Army, which isn't my favorite because their prices are ridiculous, but they had sweaters, buy one, get one free. And then they always have a tag that's 50% off, but that didn't really help me at all. But I got these, I got this sweater. So this is a J Jill, um, it's cotton, but it's like that really coarse knit. And then it's got this wool embroidery, just these little flecks of wool all over it. And then, then in the back, it's got this little pleat. And um, since I, this was $12.99, I would not have bought this if I wasn't going to get another one free with it. So this is the one I got for free that was $10.99. And it's a Philosophy Dane Lewis. And... Um, it's not a huge reseller, but I just thought this was such a cute style with the little bows and um, pockets and then the bows on the three quarter sleeves. Um, and because I got it for free with this one, I got them both and that was worth it to me. And then while we were there, my mom, who is, I'm, I was kind of hoping she'd be able to get on here and see me, but I don't think she is. Um, my mom is so good at fashion. This one was 20 bucks, but it's a, oh, where's the brand? It is a Russell Taylor and it's, um, it's mohair and with a mink collar and it's this vintage, um, this vintage like dress coat. Um, I bought it for 20. I'm going to ask a hundred for it. It's just in absolutely beautiful condition. There's no bare spots that are shedding or anything. The lining is in gorgeous condition. Um, 
yeah I'm really happy with that okay so those are the things I got last week and over the weekend I really wish that like giving everybody a show here really wish that I could get some viewers over here that gets a few more people okay so I'm just talking to I got, this is the first thing I found. It's just this little like crop coat. And I feel like I need to turn that a little bit more. It's just this little crop coat for like a little girl to wear over like a Christmas sweat or Christmas dress or something. It doesn't have a brand. It doesn't have anything other than a little size tag that says size six. This is all I can find on it is size six. I don't know who makes it. It's just got these amazing buttons and these, look at these buttons. They're like pearly, but they have like dots inside of them and then all these pearls. I mean, it's just amazing. And then it's got the pom-poms on the little ties there. Yeah, that, I just had to get it. So cute. And then I got this. It is a vintage um, Tetoron, Tetoron wavelet. I don't know. It's got a bunch of um, oriental writing on the tag too. But uh, it's just like, it almost feels like, um, oh shoot. So I'm just drawing a blank right now. It's a vintage skirt anyways. Pleated vintage skirt. Very thin fabric. Um, the Goodwill wanted $6.99 for it. And I got it for $1.29 a pound. And it weighs about 5 ounces or something. <laughs> and then I got this. And I will probably keep this. Just because it's Mickey's long sleeve t-shirt. It's kind of a burnout. Um, so I will wash that and keep it. And then I got this. It is a vintage Liz Sport corduroy skirt. And um, I will probably try this on Posh first just because it's pretty styling. And um, yeah, it's just pretty amazing. I'm, I'm starting to sell more and more stuff on Posh. And then I got this. It is a Lauren Jeans, Lauren Jeans jacket. It's like a double-breasted um, jacket. I'm going to wash it because it has just a little bit of a tinge around the. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. Probably not with that light, but it's just got a little tinge of like makeup or hairspray or something around the collar so i'm gonna wash that hopefully i'll get some pretty good money for it um a couple of things that i washed um from my last haul was this foxcroft um shirt with the big buttons it had a stain on it so i washed it and the stain came out and then this fell off the hanger um this is so cute and when i bought it i just thought it was a top it's a blush top um, I don't have my glasses, so I can't read what that other thing says, but it's a, I thought it was just a blush top, but guess what people, it's a little jumper and it's so cute and it can be like off the shoulder or up on the shoulder. And I washed it because it had a stain on the back and, um, and until I washed it, I didn't realize that it was a jumper. <laughs> That's the, uh. The fun of reselling, you just like never know what you have until you figure it out. Sometimes I don't figure out what I have until I'm photographing it and then I'm like, holy moly, that's way better than I thought. Or that's way worse than I thought. Um, and then this is the Limited, which is an okay brand, but this plaid print was just so much fun. It's kind of a little pleated skirt. And then this sweater is, let's see what's the brand, Love by Design. And it's just this kind of cool 
open front long sweater with this diamond print on it. Um, so that'll go on posh. Posh mark. And then I got these jeans. Goodwill wanted $20 for them. I got them at the bins for a lot cheaper than that. They're Lucky Brand. I think they're kind of a, oh, they're not jeans. It's a skirt. It's a Lucky Brand skirt. And the cool thing about it is even though it's a long skirt, the slits come all the way up here. So it's almost like this mini skirt on both sides with, with this super long train on it thing. And um, yeah, it's got the ties and I just thought it was pretty cute. Lucky brand is going out, but it's still selling. And then this Goodwill wanted $7.99. New with tags, Maurice's acid wash mini skirt. Um, it's still got the, the new tag on it right here. It doesn't have the price, just the size, but that still counts as new with tag, so that's how I will sell it. And then I got this skirt, and I probably wouldn't have got this brand. $7.99 at the... It's Worthington, which isn't a huge brand that I buy all the time, but this print was what sold me on this skirt, so I got this skirt. This will definitely go on posh. This is just such a cool um, print. Somebody will buy that. I can just see somebody like wearing that to the office or something. Um, these are Waymia jeans and I looked them up and I think I looked them up. They need to be washed. They have a few little stains and stuff, but they're just like these destroyed legs with all this like detail and stuff. And then there was, these are the ones I was thinking about. There's a gold chain in the pocket and I need to get out my my little thing and see what if this is gold or if it's just a decorative little thing, but it's got like a little opal on it. Um, so that was just kind of hanging out of the pocket when I grabbed these jeans, but these jeans need to be washed and then, I don't know, hopefully get some okay money for them. And then this. Duluth. So we just got a Duluth trading over in Jansen Beach over by Portland. Um, and I'm starting to see more Duluth stuff. And if you've been shopping at a Duluth store, like their underwear, their men's underwear, are like 20 bucks a pair, which to me is just insane because I'm a bargain hunter. But um, this is just a Duluth long sleeve tee. I believe it's a wimp. Maybe it's a men's because it says medium and it's pretty big. So, yeah. Um, and the thing with Duluth is they make them like so that when you tuck them in, they don't come out. Or they have like, they call them ballroom jeans because they have plenty of room for your, you know, if you're a guy. I'm trying to keep it PG here. Um, oh, these are J. Jill um, just leggings. They're just like these medium sized leggings, which I would have totally never got because I mean, J Jill's okay, but they're brand new with the tags and they were originally $39 for these just simple little black leggings. So, I mean, even if I can probably get like 10 or Okay, these are 21 Black, which I know is a 21, Forever 21 brand. Um, oh, they're by Rue 21. So, um, I got them because they're like this acid wash, kind of. They've got this huge hole in the side. But this is what the kids are wearing right now. And so, I got them, like, high waist and ripped to shreds is... A good style right now. I still don't have anybody watching. That just cracks me up. Okay, and this is just a really nice crocheted. Let's see it up close. Um, the sack purse. They sell pretty good. Um, it's just in beautiful condition. There's no snags. There's no runs. There's no stains. It's just 
It looks great. I did so good on purses today, in my opinion. <laughs> um, this is Denim & Co., another brand that I probably wouldn't really mess with, but I just really like this print. It's just an all-over, like, floral print on it, green. Um, it's just a little jacket with buttons, you know, nothing super cool and fancy, but, you know, definitely something somebody will want. And then this is Ocean Pacific, which I think is an okay brand. Um, Ocean Pacific was popular when I was a teenager back in the 80s. I got this because it has all these cool feathers all over it. So um, I think these prints, these all over prints like this really do pretty well on Poshmark and eBay. This is... Number one, it's size, it says it's size large, but large and tall, so yeah. And it is this beautiful sequined, like bohemian long A-line skirt. It's soft surroundings and Goodwill only wanted $7.99 for it, but I don't think people recognized it because it's an old tag. There's the tag. Um, I think it's a vintage tag. So it's just like this batik almost print. It's just beautiful. I hope, I'm hoping to get some pretty okay money for that. And then I'm going to be totally honest with you people. It's free people. That's all I know about this. I'm assuming it's some sort of lace up in front shirt, cold shoulder thing. Until I get it on the mannequin and sort it out, I have no idea how this thing works. But I will figure it out. It's free people, so I grabbed it. It might I might get it on there and it might be a total mess. Okay, and this is um All Saints. And then it's Spilot Spit. Paula Fields or something like that. I'm not sure. But I looked up All Saints jackets and some of them were going for like 200 bucks. And this one's just got zippers and it's like a windbreaker fabric and it's just got zippers and stuff all over it and it's hooded. The hood has this weird zipper on it. I don't know. I'm not sure if it... I don't know. I think if the zippers are all just for decoration, just to look cool, but it's a trip. And I'm hoping to get some really good money for it because it had really good comps. Like, And then I got this. Somebody had thrown this back, and I really didn't look it over that great, but it's new with tags. It needs to be washed. I think that that's maybe why they threw it back because it's kind of rusty and old. But it still has the tags. Um, and it's a gun pocket vest. And the brand is Milwaukee Performance Apparel Denim Collection. This ha this is like biker vest to me when I saw it. Um, I just thought biker vest. So I'm just going to divulge that. See what's going on here? I don't know if you can see that. But these snaps are all rusty. And they flapped back like that, so they put little rust spots on down the side. So I'll just divulge that. I don't. I was gonna wash it, but I don't think I'm going to just because then I'll have to rip the tags off. But it's got. It must have some sort of gun pocket. Yeah, it's got a gun pocket on the inside here. This huge, huge. I'm. I really like put my whole arm in this pocket so you can. It's like a concealed carry vest, which is. Pretty flipping cool. And then I've got this one. This is Wilson's Leather. It's kind of a newer jacket, kind of a motorcycle style. And it's got these cool, like, panels that go down the side that are a little discolored. Um, yeah, so it's Wilson's Leather and hoping to get some good money for that because it's just a really cool style. It's got the, like, the quilted panel on the back there. checking to see if I have any watchers. Nobody's watching me. 
Nobody gives a dang. This is Ellen, and it's just this sheer look. Just, it was just so pretty, and it's a silk blend, I believe. Um, let me look really quick here. Yeah, it's 70% cotton, 30% silk. And uh, it's just so pretty. And it was, it was kind of left behind, like, that bin had gone been gone through a couple times, so I just I kept checking it over and checking it over, and this woman kind of walked walked by slowly for me to throw it back, but I didn't because it was in good shape. And then this one, this is an Eddie Bauer um, felt hat. It is wool, and. Um, the only thing wrong with it, honestly, is it's a little bit misshapen and it's got like cat hair all over it. So I'm just going to give it a really good once over with the, um, it's got a Goodwill tag on there, but they never put, there's nothing on there. Um, I'm just going to use the tape lint roller and get it really good, but it's got this leather band on it. Just gorgeous. Pendleton wool, felted wool hat. That will I'm sure I'll get some good money for that. And then I'm such a sucker. Like Victoria's Secret's kind of going out with the reselling thing. Like it's not as popular as it used to be, but they I just love their stuff and it's so cute. This bikini, this just reminds me of like something my aunt or my mom would have worn back in the 70s. I don't know if my mom ever wore bikinis, but I know my aunt probably did. Um, so it's Victoria's Secret, and it's just, I just thought it was adorable. It's got these big wide bands and just that print, you know. It's got like a geometric print with the cute floral. So, I don't know what I'll get. Five or ten bucks. And then this is Christian LaCroix Paris. It is a 92% wool skirt, and it's small. Let me see says it's a 38 but that's got to be like the euro size because there's no way that's a 38 but um just this little tweed wool skirt by christian lacroix here's the the tag and then i got this because it's vintage and I am so shocked it's in such beautiful shape because this is fake leather. This is like polyurethane. I don't know what they're calling it on this. Um, here's the thing. They're just calling it vinyl. 100% polyvinyl. Um, but it's just this like men's, um, it's by the brand Windbreaker which I remember Windbreaker when I was a kid. And it's just this cool, like, caramel-colored faux leather jacket. I mean, I could even see, like, uh, like a, a studio buying this, you know, for a movie or something, because it's just, it's just classic, se like, 70s, early 80s to me. Like, I could totally see, like, yeah, anyways. <laughs> Just rambling. Don't mind me as I ramble on. Oh my goodness, I have three people watching me. It's a miracle. So this is Cause Jeans, and I saw this brand on, oh, the zipper's stuck. I'll get it. Um, I saw this brand on another reseller's channel she's up in seattle i forgot what her re what her youtube name is but she got cause jeans and i was like oh i've never seen that brand before and then lo and behold here she is she's got some blingy the blingy butt jeans um and they're just crop crop jeans so those hopefully get 20 or 30 bucks for her. And then this is Julia, and honestly, um, that brand doesn't do a thing for me, but this is like leggings with this built-in skirt, 
it's like extra small or maybe a large children's size. I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, cause I need to research it a little bit, but yeah, here's the tag. Oh, maybe Julia. I don't know, but the, just the style was just way too cute to pass up. And then here's my purses. I did a little, I went a little berserk on the purses. So I don't think that this even has, this doesn't have a brand. And it's kind of, the way that it lays is a little offset, but um, like a straw, woven straw purse, all different colors with the wood handles would just be absolutely so cute for like a cruise or like a trip to the Bahamas or Hawaii or something just to carry all your stuff around in. Adorable. And you know what? Like there should be a... Let's see, mute, share, no, nope. I'm trying to find the chat, live chat. <laughs> okay, if anybody chatted at me, I didn't see it till now, so hopefully I can, if you're on here and you're watching me, just chat a little something, see if I get it or not. Okay, this is Fossil. So cute. Oh, yep, I see. Who is that? Couple of pickers. Okay. And I don't know everybody's names just by their YouTube names. So you can throw that out there if you want to. Um, so this is just a Fossil purse. It's in pretty good condition. It just needs to be washed because it's just kind of dingy. But here's Fossil brand. And then most Fossil purses on the inside have um, have another Fossil. If you can see that. So I'm going to wash that. And then this is a brand that I've just learned about. It's a vegan brand. Um, so everything's made with PVC, which kind of cracks me up a little. No offense to any vegans out there, but it's like, Plastic is pro probably really bad for the environment, but anyways. Um, this is a mat and nat purse, and it's just this little, this little purse with these cool handles, and the inside's in really good shape. It's just adorable. It, it almost sounds like a plastic bag when you feel it, but... I just listed one of their purses and they're not like super expensive, but they're kind of popular because they are vegan. Oh, I even got a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, and then this is another fossil purse and it is so misshapen. It was just in the bin like this. <laughs> Poor thing. So I'm going to stuff like a pillow or something inside of it. I'm trying to see if I have a... I don't have a pillow. I have a smaller pillow downstairs I can stuff inside of it. But it's actually this really cool purse. You can kind of see on this side how it would look. It's got, it's like woven and then it's got like these, like a saddle stitch up here and then these cool handles and loops and everything. Hey! Um... Yeah, and then these little tassels over here. So once I get it all filled out with a pillow inside it, I think it'll look much better. Um, it's got this really cool liner. And it's just in, other than just being totally misshapen and abused, it's in really good condition. So I'm hoping to get some okay money on that. And then this is um, Haru, Harajuku Lovers. And I'm going to wash this because it's got some really dingy spots. But this is kind of, it's like a Japanese brand. And I sell quite a bit of it. It's not like huge money, but it's just kind of a bread and butter thing. So. It is made in Italy. It's got this cool little handle that says made in Italy on it. And it opens up. And then 
Again, this one that I'm gonna like stuff some stuff in because it's it's actually like this cool little like almost like a cylinder bag. And um yeah, I just I didn't even look it up. It was just so cool and it's leather and it's got like a little owie back here, but I still think it will sell because it's just cool. And then the this strap has a zipper and it separates so you can like use it like a backpack. The cool thing about going to the bins is you can get stuff like that and bring it home and see that it still ha it like has a blemish on it. But it's like, I only paid like maybe a buck or a buck fifty for that bag. So even if I only get ten bucks for it, I'm still making a really good profit. Um, And then I got this hat. Life is good. Life is good stuff always sells for me, especially the hats. And this is one of the simpler ones with just a heart. But they usually have like little stick figures like riding a horse or jogging or skiing. They're all around sports and stuff. Um, but like I said, this one is just a super simple life is good. Um, it's actually a company. Um, and it's this one's just a really simple one. Just life is good with a heart. So that's we'll sell. And then I got this. It is a fossil belt. Um, when I saw it, it reminded me of an Ed Hardy belt, so I grabbed it because that's what I thought it was. Because it's got like the tattoo, um, but it says fossil all over it. So, and then on the inside, genuine fossil leather, medium. And it's got little, I don't know if you can see them better on the inside, but they're little star cutouts and stuff all over it. Just super duper cute. And that will be a pretty good seller. And then this something on it here. This is a um, Victoria's Secret pink sports bra and those sell pretty good. Like I said before, not a lot of money but consistently sells. And then this is kind of my little find for the day. I don't know the the zipper pull has all these weird little, I'm gonna pull these off. People do funny things. Um, just these little wire rings on it or whatever but I could tell it was leather just when I picked it up so I looked on the inside to see what kind of purse it was and lo and behold I don't know if you can see this but it's got the coach thing and I don't have any reason to believe that this isn't coach like it doesn't Ugh. sorry um the buckles don't say coach, but it's, I don't know, it's just in really good shape and it doesn't look phony and it doesn't look, you know, I don't know. It looks like a nice little coach purse, so we'll put it on there and see what happens. Very basic. And then I got this. Um... It's just a shabby, it's got an RN number, but it doesn't, it's leather, but it doesn't say what brand it is. Sometimes it says on the buckles, but it doesn't. But it's just a red, like, belt with the grommets, and then it's got the double, the double, um, whatever those are on the belt, on the buckle. But these old shabby leather belts, I sell them all the time. A little hint with listing those, if you put biker, biker belt, they usually sell pretty well. Okay, and then see like this one, now I'm looking at it, because when I was looking at it, at the bins, I was like, oh, this is in really good shape. But now that I'm looking at the handle, you can see that it's got all this messed up stuff on the handle. But this is Guess, and it's just like patent leather red Guess bag, just a tote. Um... I'll probably still put it on there for cheap. Somebody might like it. I don't know. Like sometimes I get stuff home and I'm like, it's just going right back to where it came from. And then I got this shirt. I'm gonna give this one to Marley. It's just a Join the Empire um, Star Wars shirt. And then this one, the brand is Augur. A-U-G-U-R, 
Um, and it's just like this messenger bag, literally. And it just got, it's, this is, these are all leather, like real leather and it's canvas or denim or whatever but it's just this cool bag and whenever i see stuff like this to me this would be a great steampunk bag to kind of embellish or just use it as it is lots of people go to these steampunk conventions and stuff and they dress up with all this stuff and then i had to get this because it's spongebob and he's got this little eye patch on so he's a pirate had to get that it's got a couple little things that need to be cleaned off of it and like the inside like right here is kind of messed up but that's okay because it's Spongebob the guy that um created Spongebob just passed away last week so I don't know if that's gonna make his stuff more expensive or what but and then this is Disneyland um a Disneyland hat from Anaheim it's just really simple just says Disneyland it's got the suede bill it's from Disneyland. There's the Disneyland tag. Uh, I'll sell that for a few bucks. I just get Disney because I love Disney. I don't really care how much I get for it because I just love to spread Disney around the world. <laughs> um, Emily West, and this is brand new with tags. It's um, $58. It says it's a two-piece set, so I don't know if it came with a little jacket that I missed or what, but it's a brand new girl's dress. It's just adorable. What size are we? Size 14. I might actually just keep that and give that to my niece because she might like it. It's just so pretty. Getting down towards the end here. Okay, this is Pokemon, obviously. Um, just some like swim trunks, boys, men's swim trunks with Pokemon all over them. Just got that because I thought that they would sell because of what they are. And then I'm going to list this right away and hopefully sell it before Christmas. Um, it's from Wonder Shop at Target. So it's pants. And then th this must have been donated from Target. Um, and the elf shirt. And they're double X large women's. So... Target wanted $6.99 for the pair, and nobody bought them. I'm, that makes me nervous, because maybe there's something wrong with them. But I don't see anything. I don't see any rips or tears or... If you've said anything, I'm not paying attention to the chat. Um, And then this is Victoria's Secret Pink Hoodie. It's got the little thumb holes on the sleeves, the full zip. It's got the, is that the dog? Oh no, it just says pink. Sometimes they have the dog on there. Yeah, so just a cool hoodie from Victoria's Secret pink collection. And then here was, here's a t-shirt from pink. And I think, I'm thinking about keeping this one because I kind of like it, this for me. I'm going to wash that and see how it fits. And then this was just super cute. And I'm assuming it's part of a costume. And I couldn't find any other parts to it. And it actually looks handmade. But whoever did it did just a beautiful job. Um, I don't know what it goes to. It's got like these little... These little... I have. If you have any idea what this might go to... It has no tags other than, you know, what Goodwill wanted. Um, but there's no, like, this is handmade. You can just kind of tell, like, if you look at, like, the inside of the zipper, you know. Like, I, they had a surge machine, but it's definitely handmade. And it's just, I don't know what it is. But I'll sell it. Yes, I will. And this is a Tinkerbell um, thermal shirt. It's extra, extra large. Just a nice warm Tinkerbell shirt. And this is Athleta. I believe. Yes. Athleta. 
Anita and just some like cargo pants, cargo yoga pants or whatever. Looks like the top from, oh man, that, it goes away too fast. I'll, I'll look at the chat and respond. Um, yeah, so those, I think I'm actually gonna wash those because they have a couple little marks on them. And then this is the last thing and it is a Nike um, racerback, kind of interesting little little top and I don't know if I'm gonna put that on eBay or not so that is it um, I just wanted to share that with you a couple things in there that that Wilson's coat and that um, All Saints and the um, mohair and fur coat I'm hoping to get at least a hundred bucks a piece for those so that would be a really nice um, payback. And then I'm going to go look this little necklace up that's kind of in pieces um, and see if it's worth anything or, you know, see if it's gold. I can't, I have a, what do they call them? The little things that you can see up close with. The loop. I have a loop I can look at because this looks like it might be gold. So those are all the fun things that I found at the Goodwill Outlets. Um, if you have any comments, thumbs up would be great. And thanks for watching. And if you didn't catch me live, you can rewatch it because I will post it. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye bye. Come on.